Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, we set our mind to gathering all the recommendations we need to access the Arcane University. Though, we did get a little bit distracted going inside a mage's brain and reconstructing his shattered mind. A process, as it turns out, that mainly involves jumping. And today, oh, we are finishing the job. One recommendation to go... And then we're heading to the Arcane University. I'm afraid I'm unable to issue a recommendation. Only DeGale can do that. You may try to speak to her. If... if it doesn't go well, come see me. Okay, I suspect we're, um, back in the world of very grumpy guild leaders. So, find a DeGale, but yes, come back to Agatha if things don't go well. Which I suspect they're not going to. I'm searching for some specific crystals known as Garadan's Tears. If you can locate these objects for me, I'd pay handsomely for each one. Okay, maybe later, buddy. Right now, I am a here for the recommendation. I am not getting distracted. Oh, and more people with her unkind things to say about DeGale are here. I've heard she was put in charge of the Leowen Guild Hall as a favor, not because she deserved it. That doesn't seem right, does it? Okay, she doesn't seem to be liked or respected by the mages under her. And speak of the devil, here's the lady herself. You seek wisdom from me, child? Ah, oh, no, you seek words. Words are difficult. They come and go. The voices, though, so loud they are, they drown out the words. Without my amulet... My stone to lock the voices away. The words will never come and stay. Okay, sounds like she's lost an amulet and it's made her go a little bit bananas. Then seek Agatha, child. She will see the path and set you on it. I must rest. Okay, so I suspect yes. We're not going to get much out of her until we get whatever this amulet is back. She has visions for lack of a better term. While they used to be helpful at times, they have lately become problematic. There was an amulet, a family heirloom that she wore to suppress and sometimes focus the visions. She's lost the amulet and so has lost control. Okay, so the reason she rose up may have actually been legitimate. Back in the day, she was an amazing seer, but without the equipment to properly focus the gift, yes. We are where we are. Okay, where's the amulets? I will continue to tend to DeGale. Can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? Okay, so now we need to start asking around. I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. I heard it was missing, though. Kalthar was talking about it recently. He seemed very agitated about it. Almost happy. Strange, isn't that? Okay, Kalthar. He was the guy who was, yes, sounding resentful about her position. It's not been lost. He's stolen it. Well, well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagale talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. Humph. At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I know... I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the guild when she's clearly not fit, that's all. Oh, that is most definitely not all. You did it to sabotage her so you can take over. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. Blood brand blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies it now lies. 
waiting to be found. What was my sire's must be mine if you would have the words you seek. You must go and find his stone. Okay, so De Gale kind of speaks in riddles, but she's just oh, described somewhere, I... potentially where her dad ended up. His Please stone. So... We know from, yeah, the other lad, uh, he ended up buried somewhere without even, like, a proper tombstone or anything. But how are we going to find it? Ah, it was apparently a fort. Well, there's a bunch of them nearby to lay a win. And to be honest, yes, as it's on the coast, not that many. And there we go, Fort, oh, Fort Blue Blood. Okay, she was being a bit more literal than I thought. All right, starting from the coast where I got, uh, yes, the nocturnal business. I laid well, suggesting I laid ruin somewhere around here. Oblivion gate nearby too. Don't worry about that just for the time being. This will be it right in front of me. So, okay, sounds like we've got a small dungeon to take care of. Oh, and we've done ourselves. Hang about. You're a marauder. Okay, please stand still while I shoot you in the back, please. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. So, okay, work on at my marksmanship a little bit. Take you down and in just a second. Do enjoy the physics on occasion. Right, we've got some form of, uh, yes, raiders, marauders, uh, etc. In this bit of the world. Bit on the tough side, but... With conjuration in a hand, uh, shouldn't be anything I can't deal with. Okay, up to this point, nice and easy. Just a handful of uh, basic broaders. But um, I didn't kill these ones here. We're now down into the dangerous bit of the dungeon. Oh, bloody hell, it's you bastards. Oh dear. Just spin it around. Okay, that's, that's just a troll. That's fine. Trolls we can deal with. My lovely flamey bow of justice. That takes care of you, stupid losers. No trouble at all. However, yes, the will-o'-wisps. They're, they're more concerning, actually. Will-o'-wisps are scary. That is a will-o'-wisp, right? I imagine it is. Oh, they are so tough. I don't like... Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe we run for a second and we try and find uh, John. John, 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 do not panic. It's like a ghost or something, meaning shock damage. That's the solution. So, okay, get that out and distract it. Put something else out that's going to keep it busy. And, okay, now it's here. Where is it? Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the solution. My lightsaber mace. Okay. That works pretty well on ghosts, monsters, Daedra, stuff of that nature. Though admittedly, I could have just, you know, come in, open the coffin, got the thing, and walk straight back out again. And I will not say no to a free weapon. Look, uh, uh, just stop right there, all right? Oh, hang on. I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. Oh. Kaltar, you didn't steal it just because you wanted to humiliate her. You have visions too. Okay. Well, that makes double sense why you wanted her out of the way. If she was gone and the last person who was promoted was promoted because they had visions and you have visions. Okay. I see. I took the other one and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? Okay, I may have been overthinking that. I think actually he's just a dick who wants to, uh, yes, have his own thing going. Oh, bloody, what the cock is that? Okay, screw it. Just run in there and whack him with my whacking stick. Yes, yeah, screw you. My whacking stick superior to yours. He gets sent off flying into space. When in doubt, just whack him with the whacking stick. That's the solution right there. Brilliant. You know what? I am glad we got to lay in last. This has been a good dramatic conclusion to the recommendation missions. I 
Ah, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. I mean, she's not wrong. I do stab a lot of people with my hands. Yes, that's true. Your time has come. The Arcane University needs you, child. Raminus Polis waits for you even now. Great things will befall you. There will be trials, but you will prevail. You must, for the good of the guild. Okay, but before we head off to the university, I'd say Leowin, as it is, you know, the site I have finally completed, uh, my collection of recommendations, uh, deserves a bit of a thank you. So, uh, as I am still wearing several unenchanted bits of armor, I'm going to sort out their local oblivion gates. Not least as, yes, as I understand it, one of the things I'll be able to do at my lovely sexy new university digs is do my own enchanting without needing the sigil stones. So I'd like a sigil stone before I go so I can compare which is actually going to be better. So okay, weapons away, we're going in, we're just grabbing the stone, we're moving straight back out again because seriously, there's no shortage of gates. In fact, there was another one in sight just a second ago. We do not need to be worrying about, uh, yes, wasting opportunities uh, to get stuff out of hell. Okay, do I recognize where I am? I don't think I do. I think this might be a new one, but I will say I appear to be very nearby to... Oh dear, I see multiple side towers. This might be one of the ones with a gatehouse. I'm not sure. Okay, hanging flaming torch. I see gates that are closed, which... I mean, it plainly looks like I should be able to just, you know, fit between them. But you can't. Towers way up there, no sign of a door. So, okay. I'm guessing we're looking for an entrance to one of these towers. We're definitely dealing with a gatehouse in this particular scenario. Gotcha. And, okay, hang on. This is... Is this a gatehouse door? Door to eruption. That'll do. Right, weapons away. We're just doing this as fast as possible, remember? We're just after the sigil stone. So, okay, I feel like that guy's going to object to me in a second. Okay, step one. Activate the ascension and get it moving up. There we go. So long, you stupid loser. Straight on up in the right direction. Perfect. Oh, and better and better. Yep, there we go. I've released... Oh. I've released a prisoner. Okay. Do we know who the prisoner I... Uh-oh. When you say released a prisoner... Um... That was a summon. Then... Does anyone know where the prisoner is? Because if the prisoner was in here, I don't feel good about how they're doing. Okay, now I said we were just going in, getting the stone and getting out. But this one's really cool. I mean, there's loads of towers uh, around the central tower. That's really awesome. So we might just check out, you know, just one or two of them. Okay, I've been around at every tower. And yeah, none of the doors let me get up any further. So... I do see a whole bunch of gates are opened. Uh, I'm guessing now we need to go back down to the bottom. And yeah, from there we should now be able to access a door at the bottom that lets me do the traditional sprint up a tower if we're lucky. So here we go, where I started and uh, yeah, I've killed these guys already. I see a handful of you guys. Just put the bow away and prepare to start running Operation run very fast is now underway. Don't turn down fleshy pods, by the way. They can be really nice stuff in fleshy pods. Uh, bit unlucky on this occasion. You know what? No. Paralysis. Five seconds. Uh, that's a nice potion. And you guys are trying to uh, spit bits and pieces at me, but you're really not doing uh, that much. And hang on, where's the... Where's the door? So I don't know where the door is, because I feel like I should have... Oh, bloody hell, hang on. There's, there's another one over there. Another tower that's got the yellow thing on top, which normally means... Wait, hang on, is this where I started, or... Did I just walk straight past the... Wait, hang on. 
What's this thing? Because that's normally what the ones you're supposed to be trying to get to are like. Okay, no, this one appears to be surrounded by lava. Operation Smash and Grab has been somewhat interrupted by the fact I don't know where the bloody door is. Hang about. No, John. John, John, John. You came in through, yes, the higher up ones. But there's two tiers of them. There's the ones that are higher and the ones that are lower. So if you find one of the ones that's got, like, the lower path and go in via one of those. The problem is from this angle. I can't really tell which ones. That one looks lower. This looks good. So, okay. Don't mind me. I know I just keep walking straight past you. It's fine. This is one of the lower ones. So, go in here. This should bring me if I go straight up. Don't mind me. It's fine. Perfect. Now I'm on a lower tier. This should bring me into, yes, a different bit of the roundabout. Right here. And there we go. This isn't where I was before. Because now there's a giant pile of enemies here. And there definitely weren't previously. So, oh, bloody hell. But how do I actually get to... How do I get to where I actually want to... Bloody hell, how do I get up? Oh, the middle door in that one went to the rending halls. Which is good, I assume. So, sit still, hall door. That feels good. Just keep on moving. Don't mind me. Incredibly bloody slow moving opening doors, dear. Oh, flipping dear. It's all fine. It's all under control. Straight through here. Straight up. Okay. Now I know how that one goes. If I see it again, I should be able to navigate it. Way more. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. But I have just sprinted straight through it. So it's not really too much of an issue. There's another punished. I do enjoy them. Grand soldier with. Oh, greater. That could be really useful for enchanting in just a second. That gets me to here, further and further up. I swear these are bigger every time I bloody see one. Honestly, taking speed to almost 100 was the best decision I ever made. Alright, this was just a beautiful, beautiful choice by me. So I can basically just say, screw you, I'm going to run straight past you, take all your stuff, and there is nothing you could do about it. Let's just help myself to, uh, that's not too dramatic, but that's all absolutely fine. Take this, now just keep on healing. Spectacular, stay away from all you stupid losers, and then stay alive while their reality collapses. Magnificent. Okay, interesting. So, either I can be, yes, generating light for 45 feet on a piece of armor, which is kind of fun, but not really essential, or, okay, fire damage. That is solid, and seriously, I've drawn that one, like, three times already. So, okay, don't use it just yet. Instead, what we're going to do is take this to the university and compare it to, yes, however it is, like, enchanting or spellcrafting or whatever it is I do there does. Oh, and there it is, what I assume to be the Archmage's Tower, and uh, I've got to say, next to Skyrim... This feels so much more earned. I have travelled around Cyrodiil proving I have a right to be in this university. This actually feels so good. So, alright. Arcane University, let's go. Oh, look at this. With beautiful purple fire. Not even necessary. You could just put up normal fire. This is just for the aesthetics of the whole thing. But, oh yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. I have made it to Wizard University. And no matter how hard I try, the gate won't move. Well, it should move. I've got my letters of recommendation, okay. Bloody enchanted gates keeping me out. Shouldn't be keeping me out. I'm supposed to be here. So, okay. Maybe I have to, uh, yes, like, sign in to the wizard book before they allow me in. And we have got ourselves a Julianne and Tarmina. Hang on. Raminus, I was supposed to be looking for you, buddy. I received a prophecy, in fact, that you were waiting for me. Well, okay. It might not have been a prophecy. It might just have been somebody who knew the name of the person who deals with the new people who are joining. But I prefer to think of it as a prophecy. Hello, Associate. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. And yes, indeed, I have. Let me in, give me a fancy mage robe, point me in the direction of the enchanting tables. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. 
you may now enter the university. As a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of Apprentice and grant you the robe of the Apprentice. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. Oh, flip me. I need to actually put on the uniform. I love it. Also, ooh. All right, that's how you get to the Mages' room. Presumably, where he keeps his staff, which don't forget I'm supposed to be stealing. That's why we did all of this. Okay, so my existing apron is, yes, agility and intelligence up by six. Whereas this thing is zero armor. And on top of that, willpower. I mean, I'm not convinced, to be honest. But on the plus side, I do still get to wear... Hang on. I don't get to wear my non-sexual magical pants. Well, that's bloody useless. I need them to do magic. Okay, I will wear this for the initiation ceremony. But as soon as that's over, I am off, okay? We come to the real work at last. You have, no doubt, seen some of the worst the guild has to offer. As much as we try to hold mages to a higher standard, they are only human. What I hope you will now see is that while the guild can be disjointed and misused, it can also achieve some wonderful things. Now you have an opportunity to engage in more meaningful tasks and continue with your advancement through the guild. Okay, so if I did want to advance, what would I need to do, buddy? Before you can begin work for the guild, you'll need to do something for yourself. Every mage carries a staff. It is crafted and enchanted by the guild and is a symbol of status. You need such a staff. The wood used for staves comes from a grove to the northeast of the Imperial City near Wellspring Cave. Several mages tend to the grove and should be able to assist you. Speak with either Zarasha or Eleta when you arrive and choose wisely. Okay, quest added. A major staff. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, and sheer coincidence, Garadan's Tears, which I'm pretty sure is, uh, yes, what the Khajiit back in Leowin was asking me to look for. Apparently, this woman knows something about those. There's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Okay, a book I need to go and buy if I want to learn what's going on with the tears. Fascinating. Oh, and very conveniently, right by these idiots, we've got ourselves uh, soul gems. Big ones, too. And that leads us to... Oh, yeah. Now the magic gates acknowledge me as their master. So, all right, we've got... We've got a whole bunch of buildings, actually, so... Okay, we need to figure out what all of this is, and bloody hell, there's... There is a lot going on here. Okay, now this, this was... Oh my. Oh, bloody hell, this is... It's everything. This is an alchemy garden. Oh, flip me. It's, it's, it's everything. It's like all the mushrooms, all the plants, all the... Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. I'm so bloody happy I'm a here. Now, by any chance, given the position of, a yes, this beautiful ingredient garden, would this place, the Lustratorium, lovely name, by the way, would this be the alchemy center of the world? Because it would not surprise me. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of Alembics and whatever dotted about, too. So, all right, where are we and what's going on? Well, no one else here aside from one apprentice who won't speak to me, so possibly there is, yes, somewhere a master of alchemy, but bare minimum, if I need equipment, it's right there, so keep on keeping on. And now the Chironasium. Alright, liking the fancy names we've got. Oh, now you. You, buddy, look fancy. Alright, I'm loving the rope. Enchanted to meet you. Delmar Enchanter Extraordinaire to the Mages Guild, at your service. Got some enchanting in mind? Okay, now this guy appears to be very into enchanting. And oh yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I am ready. You point me at the table, buddy. Alright, no actual, uh, yes. 
instructions or anything. He's just said, hey, this is the place. So, altar of enchanting. Oh, bloody hell. So, oh, you pay to do it, apparently. So, all right. So, you want to have uh, some magical boots. Then add a soul gem with, uh, oh, yeah, grand soul. Brilliant. Then there is a giant pile of money. And if I want to, I can make... Boots that damage my own magicka. No, no, that, that seems bad, actually. And what are my options? Is it just stuff I know how to do in terms of spells? Or is it, like, relevant to the item? Because how would my... Okay, so no, boots that electrocute me with every step I take, that would be... That would be bad. These seem, yes, odd. To be honest, okay, here we go. Fortify, that's that's a bit better. Say I wanted my boots to fortify my agility. That makes sense. Then what would that do? What would it look like? I mean, 10 points of agility. That is not bad, you know. That's, that's pretty damn good. Alternatively, if I wanted to say yes, boost a skill, then how much would that add? 10 points again, now... I think I saw someone say in the comments, skills cap out to 100, and that's actually a proper hard cap. So once I get to 100, either by being boosted or just because the skill is that level, any benefit beyond that doesn't count. But attributes, that's a soft cap. That you can just keep moving up and up and up. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to take my Mithra gauntlets and I'm going to spend 1,000 gold and one soul gem to just provide a benefit of uh, 10 points of agility. I'm going to create that in a... Oh yes, sorry, needs to be named. Welcome to the rotation, say it ain't Bo. See, that one actually works written down and said out loud. And naturally, what else could I put on my boots other than fortify speed? Another 10 points of sprinting around. Uh, welcome to the rotation, zoom for improvements. And there we go, that brings agility to 98, but speed... Uh, up to 107. And unfortunately, yes, that's all I can do for now because I don't have any more soul gems, Welcome though. Plenty of the, uh, yes, Mages Guild outposts have uh, beautiful uh, giant gems just hidden away inside uh, various locked containers. Speaking of which, just uh, track inside the upstairs just in case somebody is by any chance guarding. Okay, that's a common soul gem. Also, John. This isn't stealing. You're allowed to just have these, even though... Oh, that was grand. I knew there might be something more up here. Brilliant. Also, I just noticed this um, random book here, Cleansing of the Fane, and I thought it might, you know, give me a skill point or something. But instead, it just said it added a, um, a map marker about the Alessian Order. Hang about, what on earth is this? A plague of devils from the ancient Elvish temple... Malada. Okay, this sounds kind of cool. We might want to check this out at some point. Do also note, by the way, that yes, tis mentioned that our holy fire destroyed them. So, yes, maybe use a fire and whatnot. Oh, gosh darn it, that grand soul gem only contains common soul. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Still, at the bare minimum, we now know that, uh, yes, even common soul gets me light of 26 feet. So, okay. The Sigil Stones are still very much useful. They have not been rendered useless in the slightest. Oh, there it is. Way over there in that bit of the map I was a bit suspicious of. So, I think that's where, yes, the um, mysterious artifact of What's-His-Face Dagon is. A bit of DLC dungeoning over there. And there's Malada. Okay, I feel like this entire bit of the world uh, might be a bit scary, potentially. Okay, next along is the practice room. So, okay, mages who want to just try out spells. That makes sense. Nothing too dramatic going on there. Next door along is just the watchtower because, yes, obviously this place does need guards uh, just in case it gets invaded. Though, to be honest, yes, mages appear to be very powerful murder machines. Not convinced they really need guarding. After that, just the quarters. And to be honest, yeah, we need to get promoted fast because... Uh, there are way too many people inside uh, this one bedroom. All right. We got private bedrooms in many of the small guilds uh, 
don't surround Cyrodiil. I am not happy with uh, this many people all sharing one room. Not okay. Okay, back into the more interesting bits and pieces. This is apparently the Mystic Archive, so okay. Fancy special books. This might be like the library right here. So if I want to learn anything about a particular bit of lore, yeah, there might be some very, very rare books dotted about potentially. All right, so that's the library and we are almost done. Our last building on the end. Ooh, We've saved the most exciting sexy name for last, the Praxographical Centaur. So this would be a hangabout. Ooh, you're wearing a fancy robe. You're important for some reason. Morissian, master spellmaker for the Mages Guild. Guildsman only, of course. I don't know whether I'm a guildsman. Am I a guildsman or is that a rank? Oh, it's once again plenty of spells, but way, way beyond me. Including summoning stuff I've never even heard of. So, okay, I need to get a lot more magical before I can do any of this nonsense. Gaspar and I have learned a great many spells over the years. Once you've learned them, you can use the knowledge to create your own. Oh, I'd heard about this. Yes, you can actually not just learn spells in this game, you can also make them. Oh, flip me, how does it work? Just point me in the right direction. Ultra of spell making. Okay. So, what do I need to do precisely? Is this like every spell or just the ones I know? Because, okay, hang on. Use the summons. Yeah, this is spells I know because those are the things that I can summon. So, if I've learned a spell, then I can add it in. So, say I wanted to restore health. Say and oh blimey. Oh flip me. Oh this is okay. So magnitude say 10. But I wanted it to be oh yeah healing over time. So okay this is going to get expensive in terms of uh, gold to create and then magicka per use. So that is okay. I mean to be honest that's not a terrible emergency healing spell, but no, don't do that. Don't do that. And then, say if I wanted to, yes, do more than a single thing at once. Say I wanted to detect life, right, but simultaneously I wanted to make a bit of light. So I wanted to say, yes, uh, just on self, create light, bit of light right there. So 20... And 20 again. So that will be, yeah, 30 gold to create, 10 magicka to use. Uh, then I can just make that spell. And then, uh, oh blimey. Okay, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, okay, say I wanted to boost my speed, because that actually is useful. So boost speed, uh, do it to myself, and then do it a slightly ridiculous, oh bloody hell. Boost my speed by a hundred and then make that last for, that's not even that bad, you know. That, that genuinely isn't so bad. Like 10 seconds of the most ridiculous speed that's ever existed for only 179 magicka. Okay, let's, uh, let's tone that down a bit. If I was just to say 50, which would still be pretty bloody good. I mean, then I can actually do it for, like, 20 seconds. I'm going to be honest. I want it to be 100. I want it to be 100. And okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. How much magic do I actually have? Oh, I've got 210. Oh, we're doing this. We're flipping doing this. So, yes, we can afford that in gold. We can afford it in magicka. I can actually do it for 11 seconds uh, if I want to. 12 would be just beyond what I'm capable of. Uh, but to be honest, yes, I'm going to go for 10. So I've got a tiny bit of Magicka left over for other bits and pieces. Uh, you won't be able to. Boo! It comes with requirements. Boo! Boo, I say. Okay. So I can't do that because my restoration isn't good enough. Well, that's just sad. Okay. Well, that does make sense. Yes, you can't just skim the requirements. Though, interestingly... 
it does seem to cap out at 75. So even the most ridiculous boost attributes by 100 spells are only 75. Okay, I think we need to seriously work on our restoration and come back to this later. And that's it. That's your lot. That is every building in the university and bloody hell. Some of those are powerful. But, 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 but. We're not done yet. Because there's one room I haven't been into. We were briefed that the Archmage goes to sleep between the hours of 1am and 7am. So if we go right now to about 2am, we should have a, a good long window to steal his staff, get it out of there, leave a note in its place, and then be on our way. So alright, lads. You guys should definitely be in bed. Please go to bed. It's 2am. Although wildly, I'm currently not detected because they're not facing me. So I guess that means I could just sort of teleport up there anyway. And okay, Get out just... of here. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. That's true. But in my defense, you're kind of supposed to... Hang on. Where... This isn't where I thought I was going to be. Someone just saw me, but now they're not... Now they're not following me. Okay, just get over here. Is... Hi! Don't mind me! Um, I'm... I'm just... Just leaving! I, I was just leaving. It, it, it's fine. Would everyone please go to bed? Because you're supposed to be going to bed. Like, we were given a briefing that you would be in bed right now. Okay. Back in at 3am. Now... This guy's just standing there. But on the other hand, he's not facing this way. So, okay, just hammer the auto until we open this up. And gosh darn it, replicas. Don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. If I just... Don't, 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 don't object. I was just leaving. Again. Because why are you even here? Okay, let's try this again tomorrow night. I feel like they might be on to me a bit. The following evening at 2am, once again, everybody's just standing around doing... Why are you here? Excuse me, I'm Irlav Jarol, a researcher for Arcane University. Aliens are my specialty. Okay, but um, why are you standing in the Archmage's private area? Because you're not supposed to be here. Okay, if I just run over here and get the staff before he follows me... Hang about, hang about, hang about. Go, 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 go. Then you're going back to bed. You haven't detected me. Get the staff. Now we just need to leave the note. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Left the note. Okay, continue. Now we just want to, like, leave in a hurry. Oh, hang on. Steal his plants. His guy might be... Hang on, wine collection... Gosh darn it, basic trash, dear oh flipping dear. Right. So this time, your friend's not following. Do you have any, like, special books or anything? Because I swear I've seen... Oh, hang on. That one's valuable. Maybe. Dwemma. Nope, nothing of note. Okay, I'll be on my way, buddy. Don't mind me. And tell you what, it's not actually even that good. It's light. It's frost damage. It's really not that exciting. Then just get straight back out again. This guy knows about me. But what if I was to just get out? There we go. The perfect crime. Aside from the people who saw me go into that area. And then the people who saw me go into his bedroom. And come back out again. And then come back out again the second time. But aside from those witnesses. It is the perfect crime. Right, back to the Talos district, because, uh, yes, indeed, we should have uh, somewhere around here it was. Uh, yes, this place. So, uh, job done. I have stolen a not particularly good staff, to be honest, but if we're lucky, the plan will work. I want you to spy on Hieronymus Lex. Make sure you stay close enough to overhear any conversations. Sooner or later, they will order him to return the guards to their original posts. When that happens, come and tell me. All right, consider it done. 
Now, last time I saw Lex, he was over here in this district, over on that side of it. So, all right, just get into a good position to maybe overhear any alerts or notes or what's not. No sign of the gray fox, sir. Oh, hang on. Nothing so what? far. Hang on, what? What? Why is there a? Why is there a Dramora? Big on mortal. So, the mages send a foul Daedra to deliver a simple note when an honest footman would have done. How typical. All right, men. We've been ordered back to our posts. I smell the dirty hand of the Grey Fox behind this. Okay, apparently that demon was from the Mages Guild because, uh, oh, it's handed Lex a note. That's how we knew where it was from, so... Uh, okay, fine. Mages Guild, they do enjoy putting on a show, sending a demon summoned from a hell to pass a note. Marvelous. And there we go, the university is annoyed, the guards are being dismissed. Brilliant. He's been ordered to evacuate the waterfront? Excellent. I have one last task for you. As a sign of good faith, the Thieves' Guild needs to return Roramir's ice staff to the Arcane University. However, the wizards are not to be trusted. I'm sure they are watching for us to put it back where you got it. They would have no qualms about killing you once they had the ice staff back. Instead, I want you to put Rormir's ice staff into Antus Vainen's safe chest. He keeps one in his home. Antus is a former university researcher. Okay, so we'll get that done and... Uh, yes, am I getting paid at any point? Not much, to be honest, because you guys pay bloody pittance. But still, I'd like to be paid, like, something. Greedy bastard, aren't you? I like that in a thief. You'll have to see Screva about that. I'm just running the scam. That sounds suspiciously like a no. Well, apparently the lad's house is literally just over the road, so... Is this it? Now, this isn't right. It must be the other side. Hang about. Here we go. On to Savannah. Just wait for the guards to disappear. Crack the door, because now I just can for free. No guard dogs? Nope, we seem to be A-OK. -okay. And is it upstairs or downstairs? Looks upstairs to me. And he is currently actually in here and in bed and whatnot. So just don't mind me. Pop that in there. Beautiful. If I just take it back at this point, then... Have I still actually completed the mission? Okay, I do actually have to put it back again, dear oh flippy dear. Alright, well, while I'm actually here, cheap wine. I was kind of working under the assumption that, you know, a fancy wizard might have uh, some of the good stuff that, you know, Cinderian's looking for, because apparently he's the fanciest bastard in the world. But no, obviously not. Right, took me a while to do, but finally, the job is complete. Hieronymus Lex has left the waterfront. Well done. Methrodel's report tells me that you have done well. You have earned your reward. I am promoting you to Cat Burglar, which means you can use Luciana Galena of Breville as your fence. Congratulations on your new rank. Okay, I've got a promotion. And uh, you know what? That's more gold than you normally give me. I'll give you that much. I have need of a very special book. The Lost Histories of Tamriel. The cat burglar Theranus was sent hunting in Skingrad for this book. However, Theranus has not been seen since. The Grey Fox himself hunts for this book. I need you to find Theranus. Help Theranus bring back this book. If Theranus is unwilling or unable, bring back the book yourself. Are you agreeable? Okay, sounds like a fun thing. Track down a book, though. Yes, there are sometimes in a single room many hundreds of books, so it might be a bit tricky to track down, but sure, I'll give it a go. But we're not doing that right now because... Oh, I knew this was going to be important for some reason. Yes, Wellspring Cave. Passed here previously. I saw some Mage Guild stuff inside, but there was nobody here. It was empty, all locked up. And now I know why. This is where I go to make my own lightsaber. Brilliant. Okay, um, can't help but notice. Something may have gone a bit, um, 
bit wrong here because there appears to be a corpse on the ground. Are you... Oh, you're one of the people who was supposed to, you know, help me make my lightsaber. Are you a... Oh, I figured you looked not friendly. Okay, so we're having a Pokemon battle. Brilliant. Okay, don't don't mind me. Get out the old bow right about here. So you guys just taking care of each other. And while that's happening, I'll just go for you losers. Oh, yeah. Oh, flippin'. Stop tanking for your boss, all right? That's not cool. And oh, you've not got much health. Well, you do when you're healing, don't you? Okay, no. There we go. That's good. Take you out. Oh, yeah. You guys don't have any health, do you? You do. Stop running away for reinforcements. It's somehow cheating. I'm pretty sure I recognize from the cloaks. This is necromancer stuff, I believe. That's a necromancer robe. And they're bad. They've been... Oh. They were kicked out of the guild, weren't they? They stormed this place because, well, one, they knew where it was because they used to be mages guild. But two, they were kicked out. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem here. They've just bloody assassinated the people who were going to teach me how to make my own wands. Still, we're missing one person here, which is you were one of the two people I was supposed to speak to. If we're lucky, maybe the other one's still alive because I haven't seen a body. Aha, on her person, a key. I remember this cave. There was a door at the rear. Couldn't not pick it needed the right key. It was, uh, yeah, over here to the right. I saw it last time I was passing through. And this might actually lead me to that mysterious island I saw, because that would potentially be about here. Waterfronts, so they say. Okay, when you say waterfront... Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. What have we here? Another plaything? You'll dance for me, little one. Yes, you will. I will make your corpse dance and then tear itself apart. Okay, I just wanted to have a lovely afternoon making a wand, but apparently that's not going to happen. So please stop stabbing me. It's it's not cool. Okay, you know, I'm going over to my lightsaber. My lightsaber murders people so cocking fast. For emergencies, it's not a bad call. So, no. Oh, yeah. You want to play who's got the best mace? Yeah, you don't want to play that game with me. So, okay. You're going over to here. And then we just trade blows. Job done. Okay. So, ah. That would be why I couldn't get up here. This. Ooh. Elvin mace, you say? Oh, and there's a letter. Okay, so they did both die. That's um, a bit on the sad side, but we are where we are. Yes, this island, uh, it's where, like, the sacred staff wood grows. So, okay, the Empire's under attack from Mythic Dawn. The Mages Guild's under attack from Necromancers. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've heard mention that, uh, yes, the Fighters Guild uh, is under attack from a different mercenary company. Though I don't think I've actually run into them yet. I've just heard people mention it in passing. So, stone chest. There we go. One unfinished lightsaber hilt. Brilliant. Okay, need to turn that in. But before we do, you know what? All this restoration, just healing off my wounds, does remind me. Yes, the other thing I learned at the university, which is... Uh, if I want to basically run at ludicrous speed, uh, what I need... Uh, is restoration. That needs to hit 75 uh, so I can use uh, the most dumb, stupid, uh, over-the-top attribute boosting spells. And that means I need restoration to be going out faster than it possibly can do in game because bloody hell, restoration crawls up. But now I own a mansion in Anvil and thus don't need to be saving up for property, I can just drop all my money on restoration training. And basically every church appears to have one of those. See? Right there. One, two, and no, no, just, just keep going. Knowledge just, I will it. buy in bulk. Knowledge. It's fine. Seriously. Knowledge. Just Knowledge. keep on keeping on. I there we go. Five out of five for this level. Okay, Raminus, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is, uh, I got the staff. Bad news, a couple of people are dead, yes. Yaletta and Zorasha dead. I can't believe it. 
They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? I'll need to speak to the council about this. Thank you for relaying the information. I'll tend to your staff and your wounds if necessary. Delmar at the Kiranesium can help you with the staff. See him right away. All right, I guess we'll check in with you later, Raminos. Ah, yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Okay, now this. This is cool. I'm enjoying this hugely. I'm never going to use this staff again, but you know what? It'll be nice to hang it up on the wall in my mansion in Anvil. Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? Okay, interesting. I mean, mysticism seems a little bit limited, to be honest. Illusion I'm not very good at, but then again, that potentially means, uh, yeah, an illusion staff could be pretty useful. There are three options for illusion magic. They are charm, paralyze, and silence. Okay, I'm going to be honest, paralyze. That is really, really useful. You'll be able to freeze opponents in their tracks for a short time with this staff. I can begin work now, or we can start over. Oh no, now I know paralysis is on the table. Let's go. Right, I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. I do just love how it all just feels so much more significant than in Skyrim. How becoming a mage feels like a real process with big steps and major milestones to it. I love it. Oh, flip me, that's actually really, really good. Six seconds of paralyzes a lot, and that's 40 uses. That's okay. You know what? I'll flip it. Take it. That's genuinely useful. Oh, yeah. With my stats looking better than ever before, I have come to a conclusion, which is this game is, well, one, it's cocking huge. This game is ridiculously massive. And two, bloody hell, this is incredible. I mean, I already knew this game was great, but cocking hell, Oblivion is incredible. Like, okay, we're coming up on 20 years old for this thing, and it is still phenomenally good. And on that revelation, I'd say that's enough for now. But uh, yes, as for next time, I'd say we've been doing, yes, quite a few missions recently. And now I can't help but notice that, uh, yes, it's been a while since we've done a great journey. And on top of that, there is a giant, huge amount of space just sitting on the map over here I have not explored. I'm starting to feel a bit more confident in my skills, so... I'd say, how about we start making a move towards Malada and Sundercliff Watch. Don't know whether I want to actually, uh, yeah, start from the Leowin side of the road or the Imperial side. No bloody clue. I'll make the decision next time and no doubt we're not going to get there because on the way there could be all sorts of sexy, exciting adventures. Hopefully you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd and this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.